And it was all trying to set this bloody drive up. It's quite a complicated drive. It's a good little drive. This bloody, uh, it's a lot harder to set up than this one. I was expecting this to be a bit easier and this to be the hardest a lot to set up, but this thing is bloody easy to set up and get going compared to this one. Just setting the maximum frequency again. I had to do a factory reset on it to get the potentiometer to work and it still doesn't uh, set the speed. A um, big resistor in there for uh, bleeding down the capacitors. Because I'll set all the maximum frequency to 200 hertz and it works, but I can't adjust it with this. It doesn't do anything, it just ignores it. And that used to work, I used to use that to adjust the speed. For some reason the parameters been changed, so I did a factory reset to try and fix that. The pot itself says how the pot works, so you've got to go to the um, perimeter mode and I can change it around like that, but it just won't do the speed. So yeah, it's a lot different than that one here. This was a lot harder to set up this one. I was expecting it to be easier, but no. It's pretty complicated, this one. This little thing is a two horsepower drive. Yeah, it's quite a complex job to set up. This thing is going to be a pretty good professional. I don't solve it yet, but I'm trying to get that potential out of the work. And you can assign, these are multifunction keys. I've assigned one to do reverse, but to actually save it and get it to actually work when I press set to go in reverse is a different, another different thing altogether again. So what I would like to do, I have it so I'd like this one. Zero to 200 hertz, adjust it with that. And press this key and it goes in reverse and vice versa back and forward again like you're supposed to that's what I wanted to do but it's a bit uh, more complicated there's more to it, there's more to it than just uh, setting it what you want up on it so it's quite a complicated little drive this one it's got a lot more parameters than that one here a lot more this is more professional Yeah, the big, uh, yeah, it's a quite a big challenge, this one. The sun might work there, but I still can't get this to a sign of function of speed. If I hold this down, it'll automatically step up in increments and go faster. There you go. It's kind of like that one out of the way, so it's better than what it was. But I still like to have the verse on this thing. Beyond the 180 hertz, it won't take. So I've got to get back down. Yeah, I would like to have this do the speed though, just preferably. This is a bit complicated, this one. I think this is mainly to set the uh, parameters. It did work for the speed, but it wasn't um, calibrated properly. So I got that right. That's worked out. That's all what I wanted to do now. What I'd like to do is, yeah, originally assign this to be the speed faster and slower on the speed, so that should be set to what these are doing. But it's kind of a bit complicated to make the uh, how to set this up properly. Now I'd like to just press that and then go in reverse. That's a bit another complicated step in itself. At least that works. So if I slow it down. So we're holding the button down. The best thing will probably be to put an external potentiometer and set it up for an external forward and reverse switch. Probably the best thing for it. But it works. find some decent potentiometers that'll work with these things. The ones I've got kind of aren't the right value. Slow it down. Go beyond below this. Oh, got some torque too. Yeah, do you want a factory set helped? 
it's got some torque. I didn't even set the um, specific parameters for that motor in this thing, and it's got some pretty good torque. And the best thing, if you're learning how to use these things, and you've got the book especially, and you can't get the motor to do what you want it to do, I think the best thing is to do a factory reset and start again. And study the book, because you have to set this up properly exactly for what you need it to do. Because I messed around with a couple of other settings in this thing, I didn't even um, remember what I did. And that's how I stuffed it all up. I had to completely do a complete reboot of this thing. But it's working quite well now. I wish I could set it up for reverse, so I might just do it, um, yeah, put an external, uh, probably the same with this one too, put external potentiometers in reverse and forward switch on it. And man, this one still stinks. Oh, it's a smelly VFD. The cooling design's pretty good there. It's got a car and transformers. This one just has a big shot. Let's see, it's a, yeah, this is a half, half a power. This one's a four horsepower, this is a two horsepower. One and a half kilowatts, seven amp. Two horsepower. 13 amp, three kilowatt. This one's a lot more professional than this one. Made in Shenzhen, China. Anyway, it works quite well. So it's set up pretty good. I finally worked this bloody thing out. The ma next major problem is uh, challenge is getting the uh, find the right value potentiometer and some buttons. And like I said, up an external forward reverse control and speed control. And that's it. She's all done. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.